Septim KBA, One Tech Traveler here. Now in my hand, we've got a huge clothes haul to unpack, wear and style for you today in this video. They're from a brand called Western Rise who are based in Colorado in the US. I've worn and reviewed some of their garments in previous years and I was always impressed how they use a lot of unique technical performance fabrics woven into your everyday clothes. Really excited to unpack the variety of layers. We've got the shift hat as well as the Versa hat in white. We've got the boundless shorts, their hoodie, the X cotton Henley tee, and the air loft vest. I'll put a link to each one of these garments we can check out on Western Rise website and make sure you stay tuned as I'll also be putting my written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com. If you are new to our Keep Being Awesome community then make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below and if you have any questions around size, fittings, measurements and features then do leave me a comment down below. We've got a lot to get through let's get started. So we've got seven pieces to check out from Western Rise. Classic merino socks. These are crew so it's got a nice length and these are in white. They have several sizes ranging from your small to your extra large. These are made from a blend of merino wool. They are great for temperature regulating, wicking away sweat. And these are the athletic style so we've got a border across the top and it says Western Rise. Next up we've got the boundless shorts and the style of this really nice. I think you can dress it up well with more of your smart casual clothes or even your formal for the summer and but you can also dress this down with just a normal t-shirt and head over to the beach and these are water and stain resistant. I particularly like this waistband and I also like how they've stitched down the entry for the drawstring so unlike other shorts that I've worn where the lacing tends to come out. I'm a bit more optimistic with this. The material is very smooth and also very light. It's got two-way stretch and we've got a couple of pockets. Of course, you've got your standard one on the right and this is what the inner lining looks like. And that's going to help bead away if you get some water or stuff. So quite airy and nice and breathable for your legs underneath. And on, on the left side, we also have another pocket, but here we have a separate zipper pocket and that can be for like your valuables. It's not that big so I would say it's more for like your wallet um, and any small bits, your car keys. But uh, yeah, for your phone you're going to dock it in the main one. There's one final pocket on the back. Reasonable entry, so not something you can put really big things in. But again, small bits, catchables like your wallet, keys, just any small things will be completely fine. And this is the overall silhouette. The first layer that we're going to check out is the X Cotton Henley, size large. Yeah, definitely um, more of a heavyweight fabric. This feels really nice. It's got a buttery smooth sort of feel against the skin, so super comfortable. And I think for the large, it fits me very well. It's got a nice hold on the upper body, um, but it's actually got a longer length on the side. It's not really like tightly fit like an athletic or sports type of wear. The cuff area is not tailored or really fitted, so you've got some allowance here. Now you remember how I said Western Rise use like technical performance fabrics in their everyday clothes? Like this one as a Henley, it clearly doesn't look like a sports tee. The X Henley tee has like a four way stretch. So in terms of movement, range of motion, if you are doing some more active like hiking or just walking in the city, it's going to be comfortable throughout. It's also odor resistant. Even if you're sweating, you're still going to feel fairly fresh. The shirt length tends to be quite standard. And for me, I like a longer rear just for that back coverage. So the longer length is great for layering, extra coverage. And thankfully the X and Henley has more of that contemporary modern look to this. So I really like it. And, and I think this might be one of my favorite pieces. Now, another thing we have to go with this white is the Versa hat. Um, you can see it here, I've got it in a matching white. Very lightweight hat. It's also great in the summer to give you that shade and bounce off the UV rays. Very travel friendly, so a lot of your caps tend to really have a rigid structure, so you can't really pack it in. But this one, you can see it's uh, made to be malleable, stretchy. It's got a flat rim, um, but again, you can see how it's easy to sort of pack away. This one is light, so normally I wear my hats backwards, just to show you. 
and it's got kind of that camping style hat where it's a, a low rise on the top and then quite a long rim, but looks really good. I tend to go more like baseball style flat. It's actually waterproof, so water literally just beads off this. And if you're caught out in the rain, you don't have an umbrella, this is going to at least keep your head dry. Um, so I like the functional aspect of this and I think it's pretty reasonable in terms of a price if you're looking for a hat that is lightweight, easy to travel with, and also keep you dry if you're caught in the elements. Um, this is one of two other hats that we're gonna check out and there's the lighter one of the two. Um, and it comes in a bunch of colors. So if you do want just a typical black, then you can get that. Now, since we we're talking about the hat, I also wanna show you the second hat and this is the Shift from Western Rise. And it's got a completely different concept to the Versa hat, which is lightweight, travel friendly. There's a lot more rigid. It's got more of an athletic performance look, but I really dig it. Um, on the back, you can see it's got some cutouts to help with breathability and ventilation. And I think it really adds to the aesthetic as well. I've got it in charcoal, but you can also get it in a black. Um, so this is a nice, mixed season sort of color got a little logo as well it's very clean on the front like it very much kind of like your baseball hat and you can see the way that you would style compared to the other hat you don't have excess strapping you just adjust it through these um, little points here it shares the same traits as the versa hat so this is also waterproof but if you're caught out in more like gusty windier conditions or need something a bit more rigid and sturdy this is much more of a rigid structure it's really well built and a nice construction with a slight angle on the rim but of course you can adjust it really like the design of this it's got a nice silhouette very stylish it's not actually as sporty. And I think if you're wearing it with your like normal clothes, like the Henley, for example, and you go out, it's not going to be polarizing from the rest of your outfit. Also waterproof, so it beads right off, but a very different concept to the Versa hat that you can see is a lot more lightweight. This one much sturdier against gusty, windier conditions with the same waterproof, um, at least the front because of, of course, the cutouts on the back means it's not gonna be waterproof. So if you're looking for that all round waterproof performance, then it'll definitely be the Versa hat. And uh, again, it's very malleable. I probably say in more gusty or windy conditions, you wanna make sure the strapping is a lot tighter against your head. Otherwise it might, you know, it might fly away or something. But either of the two, I think they look really nice now this is a pretty exciting layer to have in your wardrobe and this is the airloft vest and um, the reason why i like it is because one it's it's a vest so it's not like full on as a proper jacket which is great if you're caught out in kind of sunny conditions but it's a little bit cold or gusty which is typical of the uk it might be like in the autumn or even in the summer you just need something to balance it but still be very breathable uh, but also in the winter the materials inside are smartly padded so it's not got all the puffiness and thickness of your usual like winter wear you can either wear this as a mid layer or just your complete outerwear layer yeah it, it's got a nice contrast look to it so this navy color looks really good. I would say this color is going to match with anything that you're going to wear, whether it's the Western Rise or other outfits. Um, I think this is a great combination layer to have in your wardrobe. It's got a nice high neck color too. So you're not, your neck's not like out in the cold or compared to other vests, which don't really have neck coverage. Storage options available. So you've got one on the breast on the inside. We also have one on the side. So as you can see here, left and right. But there's one more thing. We also have a bag storage compartment, uh, which you access from the side here. And you can easily reach it from the back with your arm. And it's very spacious. It's kind of like, the, the most part of the lower half of the vest. And yeah, you might want to just stay hands-free. I like to be hands-free. So if I'm just carrying things that aren't like really bulky, fairly flat and not too heavy where it's going to sort of weigh the vest backwards and down, then I would just put it in there so you can keep your hands. So I like that functionality a lot. And this is a similar color to the boundless shorts. So yeah, I think it's going to really match well. 
You can wear this with a t-shirt, but you can see it looks nice with the Henley. And finally, we have the Strong Cool Merino hoodie sweater. And it's said to be temperature regulating, odor resistant and moisture wicking. So let's open that up. This one, I decided to go for a medium versus the Henley, which is a large. I'm gonna see how it is while I'm wearing the Henley tee. And it's got some good stretch, so we can get it over our layer. Ooh, the neck area, it's got like a tightened piece here. So you're just gonna have to squeeze your head through a little. But I'm hoping that's going to give it a nice hold around the neck. I'm gonna just hold it like this because it's quite fitted here. Um, but this is me wearing the Strong Call hoodie on top of the X Henley tee. And this is the medium. It actually fits well enough. Um, I would say the length is more typical of Western Rise. So it's going to hit more of where your waist is versus the X Henley, which has a slightly longer hem. I'd probably wear this on its own or with a thinner layer. I wouldn't wear it over the Henley tee because that's quite a thick fabric. Um, and my intention is to wear this over like a t-shirt or something. So um, yeah, this adds quite a bit of bulk, but you can see it's still all right. I don't really use the hoodies much. It's more of an aesthetic thing it keeps the hoodie like frontwards, which I actually quite like. Makes it a little bit difficult to put on, but once it is on, actually this is more likely to stay. And actually this hoodie is good. It's got some slightly longer length, so you've got more coverage. It's not just gonna suddenly stop. And let's say for example, just wear a hat. You can wear it over the, the Versa hat or the Shift hat depending on how much shade you need or just the, the condition. But yeah, this actually looks good. It fits well. All right, it feels a lot better wearing it on its own. So this is what it looks like fitting wise, worn just on its own. Might not even wear a t-shirt underneath it. I actually quite like this a lot. Um, it's got a really nice sort of like fit on the upper body. If I show you the back, how the hoodie hangs is very loose so it just lies against your back. I like the tension on the neck even though it, you need to take a bit more care putting this on but actually this is really comfortable like really nice and flattering and a great alternative um, or even as a layering option which I would suggest you'd have to size up and go for a large or an extra large if you plan on wearing several layers underneath. Um, even with this I guess I could wear the airloft vest like so and actually looks pretty good only thing is i've got the hoodie part underneath here but because it's fairly thin and just sprays across my back it's not too bad um, if i hang it out i imagine it doesn't look as good like that so yeah but yeah i really like it this is nice so there you have it that is from western rise we had the versa hat the shift hat the athletic crew merino socks we also had the boundless shorts the airloft vest the x henley cotton tee which i'm wearing and the strong core merino sweater hoodie that wraps up our western rise overhaul which one is your favorite piece that you've seen sound off in the comment down below you'll find all of the links to the garments that you've seen today and the accessories down in the video description make sure you check out onetechtraveler.com for my follow-up written reviews thanks a lot team kba I'll see you in the next one. But until then, keep being awesome. Peace.